Hey and welcome to this tutorial. So in the last video we learned how to use the wedge tool. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to achieve quick pipes with this tool. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's go ahead and create two polygon cylinders. One will be our pipe and the other one will be used to assist the wedge tool. Go ahead and rotate one of them like so, 90 degrees like that. Holding down D and V on the keyboard together, D to align the pivot point and V to snap and just snap the pivot to this vertex over here. Cool, so that's all good to go and is ready to be used. So if this is gonna be the start of my pipe, I might just want it to be a little bit longer, probably something like that. Now holding V for snap, snap our tool, so this cylinder here, to the edge we want to wedge around. I'm just going to snap it to this vertex here. Scaling up the tool so this cylinder is either going to tighten or kind of like increase the inner curve that we're going to achieve with the wedge tool. Okay, so now we have everything positioned how we want. In object mode, just go ahead and select both our cylinders. Hold down the right mouse button and then go over to multi tool. And then what this is going to allow us to do is select these faces on the bottom, which is where we want to wedge from. And then we can also select these two edges here, which is going to align our pivot point for the wedge tool in the middle of these two edges as it averages out the two positions. So now we've made our selections. If we hold down the shift and hold down the right mouse button and then go over to wedge tool, we should get the nice wedge that we wanted like so. And then of course we can increase the segments if we want, but because I'm going to be subdividing this, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them as they are. So obviously once we've done the first wedge, we can repeat this as many times as we want to create all the angles that we need in our piping to route it to wherever it needs to go. So just use the V key on our keyboards to snap our tool to the new edge we want to wedge around. And it sometimes gets a little hard to visualize but we're just going to want to rotate this cylinder that we're using as the tool for the wedge tool as in its current position, it would be creating a weird indent in our wedge, which we don't want. In object mode, just go ahead and select both our cylinders, hold down the right mouse button and then go over to multi tool, select these faces on the bottom, also select these two edges here. Cool, so now we've got a bit of an interesting pipe pattern. Um, we can actually go ahead and add some more details in, like little joints and such. So if we switch over to the multi-cut tool, so holding the shift and right mouse button, and then going over to the multi-cut tool, we can just add some edges in like so. If we just uh, select these faces, and we can just select the loop of them, and using Control e on the keyboard for extrude, we can just extrude these up a little bit, for the sake of time, I'm just going to delete the top and bottom faces. Cool. And then if you want to subdivide this, uh, we're going to need to add some supporting edges in for these extra details we added. So if we just select all these edges, using Control B on the keyboard, we can add a bevel, just increase the segments and reduce the fraction a little. And then we can hit free on the keyboard for the smooth preview to show you the final result. I do have another tutorial on how to model pipes, but this method in particular is super quick and is, in my opinion, a faster way to produce clean results. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.